Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys my makeup storage area because a lot of my friends have been asking to see it. So I thought I would just record it for you guys. I went a little bit in depth of some of the products. Speak about where I got my acrylics and stuff from. It's all from Kmart. Just throwing it out there. So nothing too pricey. But if you guys want to see my makeup storage, please keep watching. Okay, so this is my prepping drawer. In this drawer, you'll find all my setting sprays, my sunscreens, lip preppers, and my primers at the back there. All right, starting off here, I've got all my favorite primers. These ones are my hourglass ones, my Smashbox primer oil. Then I've got my um, hydrating primer, my Pores No More primer by Dr. Brandt. The primers back here are the more of the pore minimizing primers. So you've got your pore perfecter, see you later pores, baby skin blurring ones. And at the back here I've got ones that I don't really tend to go for much. Um, but I keep them there just in case. Moving on here. Lip preppers. So I've got liner lips, some sharpeners, um, a little nicks and knacks in there. So here I've got some sunscreen some La Roche-Posay and the Mecca Cosmetica one. Then I've got my lip glosses in there. These are the Stella Stay All Day 10 in 1 Illuminating Balm. These are awesome. I do this before um, my makeup sometimes and I get a glow. And here I have my Smashbox Primer Water, MAC Charge Water, my All Nighter Setting Spray, my B6 Vitamin Infused Spray, which I love, um, a SPF 50 Spray and the Origins Ginseng, followed by a small mini setting spray. Then I've got my Mario Badescu Facial Aloe Vera, my MAC Fix Plus, which is a key, my Urban Decay D Slick, and then this new one that I've got, the Dr. Dennis C Collagen and Perfect Skin um, Antioxidants Vitamin C. Love this. And that just sits all up there in my prepping drawer, so I go to this drawer first before I start doing my makeup. Now this drawer here is my colour correctors, concealers and eyebrows. Um, I'll just start off I guess over here. Now this acrylic unit I got from Kmart, it was actually in the auto section. It was a, it was actually like a toolbox. So you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 slots in there. It goes all the way back. Um, and it comes with a lid. I just melted the lid off and then put the tray in there because it fits nice and snug for everything that I need. As you can see, I'm going through what's in it. This is just my tools, my eyebrow tools. I've got scissors, tweezers, and disposable spoolies. Then I've got my liquid gel products. So I've got my Benefit gel, Anastasia, Urban Decay, and my Gimme Brow, which is in there. I absolutely love. Everyone should get that. Got my pencils in this one. I've got my Smashbox matte brow pencils and a glossy one. The Stilla liquid, stay all day. Brow texture, which I love, and then the Brow Beater by Urban Decay. Here is just all my cheaper ones that I keep just in case. Brow products, old MAC and Lancome ones in there too. And towards the back here, I've just got some primers and glitter glue from Too Faced and MAC Paint Pot, which I don't really go for anymore, but I keep it just in case. Then for brow products, I've got Anastasia Dip Brow and a Lancome Dip Brow. A little bit more back there. Then my favourite, I've got Blonde, Dark Brown, Auburn and another Lancome one. Then in here I've got my Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. These are the best. It's Eden 
by Urban K, my favourite. Here I've got just some colour correctors as well, my loose ones from LA Girl, the Pro Conceal ones. Then in here I've got just all my spare concealers that I started using but I'm going to use soon. Now here is where I keep my concealers. This little container as well is from Kmart. It was like five bucks and it's just a double-ended acrylic container, clear one. Now these are my bays of concealers. I've got NARS, MAC, Urban Decay and my Maybelline Age Rewind. And then here I've got a little bit of spares and colours that I don't tend to go for. Ones that I don't use too much. Moving on to the final area is my colour correctors. Croylan, um, the Croylan Concealer Wheel, which I love. I use all the time. Beautiful colours and they blend really well onto the skin. My Inoxa Cover and Correct Creamy, sorry, Cream Concealer Palette. This one's quite nice too. And it looks, looks like that. So you've got all the colours that you would need to correct. And I've got my Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. And of course it looks like this. I haven't really used it much, but I will be getting there soon. And this Morphe Brushes Concealer in 9FW. I actually don't use this too much, but uh, it is there when I want a cream contour. So yes, this is everything in my concealer and eyebrow drawer. Yay! Now this is my blush drawer. I've just organized it very vaguely. This is my drugstore blushes. Then I've got my higher end ones and my palettes and some back there. Here I've got NYX ones just at the back. It's more NYX. Anoxa. Um, Essence. I've got a lot of Essence ones models prefer. Then I've got some Savvy and Ulta 3. Then at the back here I've just got Maybelline. Ooh, Rimmel. This is the... That really weird Illuminati brand, 3CE. It's not Illuminati, but you know. Um, I got two Milani brushes, blushes. Rimmel again. And then these are all my Essence blushes. More Essence. Um, Max Factor. This is one of my favourite blushes from the drugstore. It's called Classic Rose, but I think they discontinue this. So, sorry. And then another Revlon. Now, towards the back, I've got my higher end ones, except for Sleek, that should actually belong somewhere else. I've got Bobbi Brown, The Balm. I've got three Hourglass ones, which I absolutely love. Some of my favourite blushes are from Hourglass. So, from left to right, I've got Luminous Flush, Diffused Heat and Dim Infusion, and Honey, they're gorgeous. Gorge. I've got Nick, my Urban Decay in Fetish, just that dusty rose matte colour. Then I've got an old MAC one and then some Too Faced Love Heart blushes there. And just a cream blush from Smashbox. Now my Sleek palette. Now at the back here I've just got some compacts. This is my Smashbox favourite blush palette of life. Well, the name is not on the back. And it looks like this. Gorgeous. Absolutely love this palette. That's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So pretty. So you've got a bronzer, two blushes, three setting powders. That's then I've got the Inglot Palette. I got this from when I was studying at school. The colours are stunning. Gorgeous sheen and matte shades. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Palette. Looks like this. You've got a good mix between like pink, rosy, uh, like highlight shades and maybe a little bit of bronzers I would say. I use them as bronzers but who knows. I've got your NARS Stephen Klein palette. This one's super pretty as well. I've got the Stiller Convertible Colors. These are a cream. I don't tend to do creams much these days anymore. But yeah. And then the Balm. How about them apples? I love the name of the Balm products. And that is, again, cream colors. I've also got this Morphe Brushes palette. Looks like this. It's quite pretty colors. So yeah, that is my blush drawer. Love blush gives some good color. Next drawer is actually my favourite drawer of life. It's bronzers and highlights, honey. It is home to my bronzers and my highlighters and my glitters and everything that is good for the face. So, starting off over here, ones that I pick up the most are these four at the front. Sephora one in Bali Medium. 
This is actually by Clinique number 24 Golden. It's the Anti Blemish Solutions Powder Makeup. It is awesome as a bronzer color. Sinars Orgasm and Laguna. I used Laguna, that's why I put it in my bronzer drawer. I've also got Bahama Mama. Y'all know I got that hula. I've got Miss Betty Luminizer. And this one is super cute. This is the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush, Blush and Bronzer Duo. Oh, sorry, it's the Soulmates one. It's called Ross and Rachel. So cute. And they had another one called Carrie and Big. Oh, I don't really pick up much. I've got some Napoleon, Ziate, Savvy, L'Oreal, and ATO. They just don't really sit well on my skin tone, the colours. Now at the front here I've got some liquid bronzers or cream bronzers. Got the Glam Bronze, LA Girl, NARS Duo, and then they fit me colour in 340. Now moving on, this is my favourite part. These are my highlighters. I'm just going to go through them quickly for you too. I've got two Mary Luminizers. The reason why I've got two is one is empty as book, i.e. This is my backup. Aura by Urban Decay. MAC Soft and Gentle. My Sleek Solstice Palette. Yeah, Glow. Now, can I just say this highlighter from Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima is fucking lit. This highlighter is gorgeous. Oh my god. Now, just to show you guys, give you guys an idea, the one on the one closest to my thumb is the Mecca Cosmetica one, and then this bottom one is. Uh, Soft and Gentle by MAC. Uh, oh, oh, hello, Minion. What are you doing down there? I've got Moonstone by Becca. Towards the back here, I've just got two Hourglass ones and a Models Prefer, which this Models Prefer one, yo, it is fucking lit. And that is a swatch of the Models Prefer one compared to the other ones. Like, look at that base of colour. Ah, oh, amazing front here I have okay I'll just start on this side I guess this is my hourglass dim light my hourglass trio palette the wardrobe of colors then I've got reckless by Nars it's just like a highlighter with some glitter through it the new mac extra dimension skin finish in show gold which is this gorgeous like pink frosted color Oh my god, this is my fucking favorite thing in life. This is my absolute favorite thing. It's the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated in the color Luminous. When you open it, it is literally just straight glitter. Like, I don't know if you can see. Oh my god. That is a swatch of it there. It's it's just phenomenally gorgeous. Got my hourglass cream contouring. This bronzer, this blush, and this fucking highlight though is stunning. Like the way they've made it, it just it's just a gorgeous tones. Oh, naked palette, good for traveling. I'm really liking the colors. The blush looks really bright, but on the skin it's not. Good for when I go clubbing. I bring this with me. And then here are my favorite palettes. Um, I'll start off with the newest of the collection. It's the Nicole Grigero. Not too sure. Um, Glow Kit by Anastasia. Oh, this palette. The pigment, the quality, the colours. I use the white one when I'm light. Then it goes from like, it goes from like light tones to deep tones, I reckon. And it's just stunning. Then I've got this Stella uh, trio that came out at Christmas time. Now you can get these individually. Hidden and bronze. Honey, if you need freaking highlight, which isn't powdery, or you want to put some frost on your body, frost yourself with this. That's the Stella Starlight Star Bright palette, and it's amazing. Now I have to have that Jaclyn Hill champagne pop, though. Don't think I forgot about it, because I got it in the palette. It was like an extra 40 bucks for Prosecco, and then the rest of the colors, so got that in my life. Next is the Anastasia Moonchild palette. Oh. I can't even, this palette is is me when I'm lit. Like, if I need my makeup, like, next level, I go for this palette. It's stunning. That is a swatch of purple horseshoe in the making. 
the Naked Illuminated Trio, and you've got the three shades. They're gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but they're not as glittery as what I wanted. Meh. Towards the back here, I'm not going to go through them because you probably all know it's the Anastasia Contour Kit. Then I've got the AC On Tour Kit by Astralis. And I've got the NYX Contour Kit, Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I actually use this if I had to pick one. And then... I don't know how I forget about it, but sometimes I do. It's the Shade and Light by Kat Von D. And this is a gorgeous palette too. So yeah, this is my highlight bronze drawer. It's actually my favourite. That's why I went through this a little bit more than the rest. So yeah. This is my last drawer. It is my foundations, as you guys can see. I've got my tan foundations, my lighter foundations, ranging from Still Art's my favourite, then Nars Sheer Glow, then I've got some Smashbox Studio Skin, um, MAC, I love that, and I've got some tinted moisturisers floating around and some drugstore ones at the back, which I don't go to anymore. But then I've got my setting powders. These are my loose, translucent ones, and the ones on the side are some coloured ones. My... RMCA is my favourite. It says Face of Australia, but I've just put my RMCA powder in this because it is so much more easier. And another powder that I love, absolutely love, use every single day is my Hourglass Ethereal Light. You guys saw um, in my other drawer that I had my dim light, but it's too dark for me. This, though, is amazing. And then here actually is a little bit more of my powders, my Stralis. Australis, MAC, and Australis, and then my setting, my mattifying pad is D-Slick, Urban Decay number one, translucent by NARS, and then just some cheaper matte makeup. So yeah, that is my foundation drawer. Nothing too big, nothing too exciting, but needs it. <laughs> this drawer is my lash drawer. Now I've got a lot of lashes, lash glues down here, and then randomly got my eyeliners sorry my lip liners which i'm going to change soon but i need more room in my lip drawer and you guys will see that in a moment now this is my lip i'm just gonna my foot's just gonna be resting there just letting you know now uh they're not completely organized um but i try I sometimes just throw colours in, but I'll go through quickly. These are my glosses. These are my, all these ones here, like floating around pretty much on this whole side is just drugstore ones. Um, I got my Lime Crimes in there. Yeah. The Noxa at the back. I was obsessed with the Noxa at one point. Then it moves on to more glosses and like velour lips and things like that. Then I've got my MAC lipsticks, which I purchased when I was like 16, 17. Like, where did I get this money to buy freaking $36 lipsticks from? I don't know. Then I got my Lime Crime singles there, which I love as well, and some random shit at the back. Moving on to all this side here, in this little section. This is all from like Mecha Maxima, I guess. Basically, got Too Faced, Smashbox, Urban Decay, um, Stilla, all my Stilla liquid lips in here. Too Faced there as well. Mini Too Faced I got at Christmas time. And then this is my favourite section. I usually reach for this stuff more. This is all my nudes for the most. I've got Gloss by Philosophy. Amazing gloss. It's really sticky but ugh, love. Then I've got Mac Myth. I've got like one there, one in my bag, one in my car, like everywhere. Coco K by um, Kylie. Then I've got Stark Naked Inglot 415. This one is a pretty colour. And then I've got Caramello by Stilla, Exposed by Kylie Jenner. And guys, my all-time favourite colour of life. The Rimmel Apocalypse in the colour Nude Eclipse. That rhymed. This, I've got two here. Do a swatch. Now that's what it looks like. It's just like a milky brown. It suits my skin tone. When I'm light, when I'm tanned, when I'm like extreme tanned, I just... Oh, I keep going back to it. And the fact that it's like quite a thick consistency, it's not sticky. Do you wanna do you wanna say something fucking lol? One, two, three, four, five more apocalypse by Rimmel. It's the two colours that I love in just new bottles. Yeah. 
Now, um, these are discontinued, thus why I stocked up. So my lip colors look like this. I'm not going to go through them all because I'll be here forever, but yeah, that is my lip draw. Okay, what's in the next drawer? Oh, so this is my eyeliners, mascaras, and like single eyeshadow drawer. So pretty much my eyes. Um, here I've got coloured eyeliners, black eyeliners. These are just gels and pencils only. Then I've got in here, this also moves. It's from Kmart. You can take it off. It just sits nicely on the Alex drawers. My liquid eyeliners, just so I don't get confused. I have my mascaras. I've got my drugstore and then my higher end. So my favourite ones right now are my Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara and my Big Shot Mascara. Bought it back up. Huh? Huh? Now these are my single shadows. I'm not going to go through them because they're really random colours. But I've got NARS, Bobbi Brown, Urban Decay, Stella. Then I've got my gel eyeliners in here and they're mainly black and I've got one white one. Then I've got Stella. Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I've got Bronze Bell, Kid and Chroma, Diamond Dust, and what is it? Gold Goddess. And these are gorgeous. Like, if you think they're amazing, you see everyone's reviews saying that they are, they really are. Then in the back here, I've got some Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners, followed by my Josie Marin Coconut Water Eyeshadows. These are everything. They're discontinued, and that sucks, and I hate that, but yeah. These are the glitter injections. They literally put them in a plastic syringe. How cute. Huh. Lol. And yeah, that is my eyes draw. Nothing too special. In the drawer that's last but not least, I have all my eyeshadow palettes. Palettes on palettes though. I've got my Semi Sweet Too Faced, Chocolate Bar by Too Faced, uh, Peach Palette by Too Faced. Then I've got the Peanut Butter by Too Faced. And then the Natural Eyes by Too Faced. Also gosh, the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup by Too Faced. It's actually the prettiest packaging. Then I've got Bambini by The Balm. I've got my New Tude palette. Thank you, Mel, for that birthday present. Hello. And of course, I've got my Modern Renaissance. But fuck, the packaging is dirty AF. I don't love how it's velvet. It picks up like everything, like suede, whatever you want to call it. Tamana by Anastasia. Makeup by Mario Master Pro Palette. Ugh. Then I've got my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye. My Kat Von D, I don't even know what this is called, but the orange butterfly one. Back here I got all my Urban Decay Shadow Box, Electric Palette, Urban Decay 1, Urban Decay 2, Urban Decay 3, and the Naked 4. And I've also got the Vice Palette. Love that. I've also got my Urban Decay Naked, oh, sorry, Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Ooh, if I was an eyeshadow palette, this would be me. Got some Stella palettes, I've got the Soul palette, and I've also got Spirit, another electric palette, some Inglot shadows, and a really nice palette is the Venus, Lime Crime Venus palette, that's pretty too. Some palettes here which don't fit in the drawer, so I just stack them in a separate area. It's the Morphe 350 palette, the Morphe 350 matte palette. Now, this is my favourite, it's my Z palette of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I chose all these colours individually, made it into a palette, and these are my very much most used eyeshadows ever, especially whimsical. My inner corner highlight though, and yeah, I'll do a video on this separately another day. And then in my other extra large Z palette, I've got my glitter injections. These colours are to die for. Like, look at this raspberry colour. These just, yep, 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 yep. So much yes. And another palette that I've got is the kit Wham Bam Hello Glam. This is from Mecca Cosmetica. It's 48 Extreme Impact Eyeshadows. It's such, it's actually a really nice palette. Colours, gorgeous colours. You've got some coloured colours and like some neutral colours and browns and stuff. So this palette's really pretty too. Oh and I just realised I've got the Too Faced Wardrobe Bronzer book. Love this.